Okay, here we are. The finals. This is it. Yeah, this is the semis. Okay. Is this the first? This is the break. Yep, this is the break. All right, so Earl won the flip. He's uh, playing in the semifinals. This is for the hot seat of the come and take. Oh, my gosh, scratch on the break. scratched. That's a bummer. It's the in, uh, It's at the Ice House Inn in Youngstown, Ohio. It's the come and take it if you can tournament, sponsored by Mike Galassi Custom Cues and Babies Pro Shop and the Ice House Inn. And it's for a... Uh, $800 first prize. It's a handicap tournament. Earl Strickland's giving Ryan uh, two games on the wire, so if he makes it here, it's going to be 3 nothing with Ryan breaking. Let's see what Ryan does here. Ryan's played real good. He's He's got a very good chance to win this term. There we go. We got a 3 nothing lead by Ryan. He needs two more games, and Earl needs five, so we'll see what happens. Could be a short, short, uh, tar a short match for Earl. As good as Ryan's playing, you know he wants to beat Earl. Oh, oh my I mean. gosh! This is the man that knocked me out of the winner's side, and he played really good. He broke and ran the first two racks and got on the hill before I got to shoot. Yeah, he plays real smooth. Oh, stays yeah. down on his shots. He <laughs> thinks before he plays. Yep. He's very, very calculated. He he will get a shot if he can. He'll take a hard shot just to make sure he he gets a chance at at winning. He sure will. And uh, so we got a three nothing lead already. That sure gives it a, him a pretty good chance against Earl the handicap. It's a shame that uh, we couldn't figure out a system that would really work for the you know everybody to win in. But it's just there's too much difference between the uh, amateurs and, and and someone like Earl. Way too much difference. Way too much difference. He's got to have that handicap. Right. Even though it, you know. Ryan's got a pretty good chance to win this right here. Mm -hmm. Well, he marked it at one, but he's actually at three. He's got to get to three. Ryan's breaking. And he's figuring this break out pretty good. Now he let loose there. He hit it a little hard, harder than he was hitting it. I think he's excited. Well, he's left Earl a shot. He All sure right, did. This is, this is Earl's chance to come on board. And uh, I don't want to, you know, call myself Nostradamus or anything here, but I think Earl's going to get out. Well... I tell you what, if he doesn't, he's a loser. <laughs> so he has no choice. Yep. No, he hit that sweet. He, he his cue ball is just like uh, it's like yep. a violin. He's a been practicing all day. Oh. Yep. He's been over on the nine foot tables all day. Yes, he has, and he. I he don't takes know. Pull serious. He sure does. That cue ball, if he's playing, it just looks like it's on a string. There is no better player, in my opinion, than Earl Strickland. No, I mean, he's, he's my living, favorite player. Best living player. I'm friends with a lot of the pros. I've lived with them and traveled with them and doing video work, and Earl is my favorite player. Now, Earl's got a little tough shot with the 7 and 8. He's going to have to get on the other side of the 7. He might go on the side or the corner, but this is not a, uh absolute run out. All right, he's got to get pocket small. He's got to get down. Not nah, from the way he shot that, I'd say it goes in the side. For sure. On a bar table, side pockets are pretty tough. We'll see. They sure are. Well, he's taking his time. Well, he's shooting it in the side pocket. He sure did. Now he's just got to draw back. Seven feet for the nine. Uh, maybe he'll go forward. I don't know. I don't I think he'll draw. Really think yeah, he's so. drawn. Absolutely. It's probably easier with some outside English. There you go. Now we got a. Uh, actually, it's three to one now. Racing okay. to five. Wow, Earl is amped. He's ready to go. Well, he wants to win this. He you know, sure Earl's, does. Earl's had a long time between wins. He used to be, you know, he was Player of the Year three years in a row, during my era of playing. Oh. Absolutely. I mean, who? Nobody. Nobody's got a resume like Earl. He's no. won everything. He's a five-time U.S. Open champion. There's nobody that can Six-time world champion. He's got so many. He, he won 150 tournaments in one year. 
The only guy. player that competes with him is Efren. I mean, there's no oh. – that's the level. Two best players of our era, Efren Reyes that's and Earl the Strickland. They are, they are the icons of pool. They absolutely. are. And the absolute best players. There's nobody that can play these guys. Nope. Nope. I mean, you got some great up-and-coming players, but as far as experience, the depth of the knowledge, right? Earl yeah. and Earl and uh, Efren are it, man. They're the, and they've the got pinnacle. a lot of work to match their resumes. Right. A lot of work. And it's anybody's game whenever they play, too. Absolutely. Well, now Earl needs to he needs to make a break. He scratched the first time. Uh, he's he's going flirting with that again. pocket again. He needs a shot. Well, he might have one. Now, if he can see the full one, he can roll down for the 2-7. Oh, did the 9 go on the break? I think it did. Well, yeah, must have went in the corner because he's spotting it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He, he seems to me to have a clear shot on the 1, Alvin. He does look like he can see it. Just hit it high ball. High ball, come on down. A little bit. Seven. Now, the 7 word is you have to v hit it very, very softly because if you don't, the two ball ends up on the long rail. So he's oh. got to get way down table. I didn't see that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. He thought he could hit it. He was trying to run into it. Sure was. He must have had more angle than I thought. Now he's going to play a safety here. I would say you're I right. I think he's going to hide up behind the four and the I would eight. say you're right. Hit it real nice and soft. There he did it. He's leaving a... All leaving right. him nothing. Well, he's... Left him a kick. Mm -hmm. Alvin tried to jump one of these. I don't know if he can do that with his full cue. I've never. I don't remember seeing. I remember seeing this guy wing at some balls. I don't know how good he jumps. I know he shoots, but he's going to kick. He's going to kick. Mm -hmm. I think he's he's feeling it. Well, he needs a good roll here. Yep. How about Ooh, that roll? Wow. Straight in the hole. Great shot. That's why he's in the semifinals here. Yeah. That's that'll win you a match. Now he's still got the four or six are tied up. He's got to do something here. He's got to get a position on the four. So if he comes around sure three rails about where he's at, he might have a shot in the corner. Yeah, I don't like winging at these balls. Oh, my gosh. Right. Look how short that banked. You it know, that's sure that humidity we're talking about. Mm -hmm. It's very humid in here. He, he tried to bank it, it in the hard. side and ended up in the middle of, middle of the table. That bank went real steep, and he didn't hit it that hard. No, and it backed up like about six inches. Yeah, usually that would... Well, let's see what Earl's going to do. He's gonna Earl's going to bury him. He needs ball in hand to get out. He really does. Well, Earl's fortunate. Ryan kicked in the ball and didn't get out, so we'll see what happens here. Now he's got a pretty tough kick. Got some guys on the chat there rooting for Ryan. Well, yeah, absolutely. Ryan, this would be a first win for him. That would be great. Ryan is a good player. He kicks real well, too. I get, I think he's going to hit it. Yes, he did. Sure did. He's going. And he's he left him a little yeah. tough, maybe. I don't know how much I of the ball he, he can, can see. see it. I don't know. Has he got to spin it? Yep, he's got to spin it in. He left him uh, not the whole ball. Ooh, Whoa. sure made it. That's Whoa, a, that was lucky. That's Earl's luck slash skill. Well, he, he tried to definitely get further away from the three, and now he's mm -hmm. in a tough position. He can't really reach he it. He can't do anything. He's got to come back for the four. What's he doing? Drawing it? Oh, yeah. Look at that little touch. That was cool. Now he's going to click that eight ball out of there. Click the eight, make the four, and have mm -hmm. a. if he gets out, he'll have a three to two. Oh, he's well, straight he's in. He doesn't like it. He does not like it. He's about to start smacking his shaft on the rails. Well, he's got plenty of shafts. I made sure mm -hmm. of that, so he's got yep. some backups. And you don't take that personally. When never, never. Because it doesn't matter whose cue he's using. Look at this shot. Beauty. Uh, oh, no he good. clipped the nine. But look at the spin. Oh, my God. <laughs> he got that Strickland lock, man. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's what you call a, a professional roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. That was pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. Okay, All right. Earl. Got a 3-2 game here. We've got a couple of the owners of the pool room that are rooting for Earl. That's right. They might have them in something. I don't know what. but. All right. We got a 3-2 lead by Ryan. Earl's got the break. 
We're at the Ice does. House Inn in Youngstown, Ohio, playing the Come and Take It If You Can tournament. Thousand yep. dollar added. Race to five on the winners. Race to three on the losers. Earl Strickland. He's trying to, uh, you know, put another feather in his cap. Mm -hmm. Earl didn't just come down to play in this tournament, though. He came down to help the pool hall ice house, and he came down to. He's got a new DVD. Well, absolutely. Mike Moosey, the owner of the Ice House, and myself have signed a contract with Earl for five years to uh, promote pool, promote Earl and pool. You know, we're going we're gonna to write a book about Earl, and uh, we're going to awesome. do exhibitions. And uh, we have a lot of things in mind that we want to, you know, try to get pool back where it was. You know, it, it's, it's kind of a little bit in a slump, and, and we want to see pool back where, you know, get some new players and, and, and a lot of action tournaments, you know, things that – I grew up with. We can find out about that at babiesproshop.com. Babiesproshop.com. We will have all that we can do up there to uh, keep everybody informed of what's going on. I'll have that contract signing and Earl products. He's looking for the corner pocket. Look he at sure that. Found he it. keeps doing that. Well, two, four, six, and he didn't make a ball. So mm -hmm. that's a neat. That's a pretty good out there. It'll put uh, Ryan in the lead, four to two, if he gets out, and he'll be on the hill. This tournament's short and sweet. It is. Get, you know, all you got to do is just do what you're supposed to do, run out. Looks pretty pretty good. All the balls go in pockets. We'll see what he's going to do here. He's going to come down table. Yeah, uh, he doesn't want to get on the rail here, but he did. Yeah, he's, Let's see. What's he, he got out do? of shape immediately there. I saw him jump up. Is he going to jack up? Nope. Following it. I'd say he's going for the side pocket. There he goes. Side pocket. Okay, good. He's going to get back in. Well, okay, there we go. he might be dead straight in. Now he's in, straight in. Now what? It's, it's tough once you get out of shape to get Is he going to follow it and take the tough shot or try to draw it in between something? Looks like he's drawing. He drew it. Okay, good shot. Don't get jacked up. I don't like that. That's a tough shot. But if he, all he's got to do is stop his ball, make the five, and he's got a natural yep. angle to come around for the six. For sure. So this is a stop shot. It's very smart. Very smart shot. There you go. Make the five, two rails around the six. And now he's out. back into shape. Yep, he's perfect. Just got to stay down and make the ball. Mm -hmm. Nice he shot, He's doing that well. He's directing the cue ball around the table with this cue tip. Ooh, came up a little short there. He sure did. He might have been going for the other pocket. He maybe have thrown a little too much on that. Well, but actually think about it. Now he's going to be on the right side of the seven no matter what. Yep. Good yep. shot. Yeah, he's smoothing out now. Play, table's playing fast. Well, that's a little humid. The the rails are pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Ryan needs this to get on the hill. But it's losing spin. I'm right, too. right. It's deadening the spin there on some goes. of the shots. He's got a good shot. He's got a little angle to get straight in the corner. Could follow the for angles. the side, whatever he feels like. Yep. Yeah, he's following for the side, I believe. Wrong again. Huh. <laughs> Wow, he got to the 50. Cut it in the sure side, did. right? Yep. yep. Up table, back down to about the spot. There you go. He's on the hill. Okay. This would be a great win for him, beating Earl Strickland. Yep. And if anybody deserves it, he does. Yes, he does. He has uh, played like a he's big heart he's got. He's made a lot of shots to win. He sure has. I was surprised to see how good he played yep. when I first saw him last night. He's here on a mission. Mm -hmm. All right. See, we're racking the two in the back just so, uh, you know, you can't play shape on the on the two. Puts a little bit of suspense in the game. You know, these soft breaks that they're doing on the, nowadays, it, it kind of, to me, takes away from the game. I'd yeah. rather see them whack them and, you know, whatever whatever comes out comes out. Yeah, it's definitely more exciting to break more harder. More exciting, right. You get a few balls tied up here and there, you know. It's well, very unpredictable when you hit them hard. Well, if you get the right balls frozen, you can make the wing ball no matter how hard you're hitting it with the. Yeah. If you get those certain four balls frozen. Yeah, that's the way they play nowadays. It's kind of disheartening to me. When we played, you know, back yeah, years ago. Yeah, there was no system problem. Well, well, they're just, you just, the corner ball didn't go. The, the cloth was right. different and the balls were different. It just never went. Mm -hmm. All right, this is to, uh, this is for the win. He made a ball on the break. The one ball's coming to the corner. And he's might get hooked uh -oh. here. Uh-oh, yeah. unbelievable. That's okay. He's going to. Look at how the balls are sitting, Alvin. They're, they're like. It's like a road map. Yeah, all he's got to do is go rail first. Think he's going to kick, play safe? I don't know if he can safe. even make that. I would play safe. Oh, you mean he might be able to spin it around? Uh, maybe. 
I no. I don't Gary's know. saying no. Well, we're gonna find out. Nope, he's kicking it. He's kicking it. He's trying yes. to play it safe. Right, that's a smart move. Trying to play it safe. Yeah, he left her all. Oh, what happened? I don't know. I missed that one. It looked like he contacted the ball. I have correctly. no idea what happened there. Okay, all right, so well, Earl's this is out. a must must run out for Earl to get to three. Needs two more games. If he can make one ball, I just assume he's out every time. Well, you would think so with Earl, but yeah, you know. he sometimes he makes mistakes. Everybody does. He's got a little tricky shot here. He doesn't want to get too too much angle on the six. He double hit it. Double hit it. All right, we we got a person that said that uh, Ryan yeah. double hit the cue ball, and that's why we got he, one of the room uh, uh -oh. people here, Gary. Oh, he's all right. That's uh, pretty nice of him to give it up. I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So pool should be a gentleman's sport. Yeah. I like how close Earl cues to the cue ball. Oh, wow. Well, he's he's like, got such a long, fluid stroke, doesn't great. he? Great. And, he, like, he's aiming. He is right on the cue ball. All right. Now we got a four to three. Okay. Ryan's on the hill. Earl needs two. Earl's on the come up. This is for the, the, the semifinals to uh, get in the hot seat for this $800 first prize at the Ice House Inn. That's it. This is the Come and Take It If You Can Get It tournament, sponsored by Baby's Pro Shop, Ice House Inn, Mike Galassi Custom Cues, and the soon-to-come Earl Strickland products. Yeah. We're going to do some DVDs instructional, too. You know, Earl taught me how to spin my ball. I played all my life center ball. Mm -hmm. It's a great game I had, I thought. I mean, I beat a lot of players. Right. I won world, one world championship. But uh, nice. Earl has taught me how to get from the long side to the other with spin, and it's just it's something great to have. That's for sure. Now, wow. Wait a second. Can he get? Oh, my gosh. Wow. Well, I okay. think we might have a hill-hill match here. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how straight he in, in he is because he's. Uh, I wouldn't uh, necessarily call myself Nostradamus, but I think. Uh, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's been my patented line all weekend. What did he do different on the break there, Alvin? Uh, he slowed it down, but he powered it. He went into the fr the head ball and stopped the cue ball instead of letting it go flying. I think he uh, I think he played center ball on the break. I think he hit it dead straight in the center. He almost missed that one. He doesn't belong here, he says. He, does. he doesn't belong anywhere. <laughs> He's so hard on himself. He is. But that makes him great. No matter how good he plays, he thinks it should be better. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a hill hill match. Okay. Great game. Awesome. That's what we like to see. One game sure for the do. semifinals. This is it. Got a 4 4. Earl Strickland versus Ryan Ward. He's talking down there. Yeah. All right, this is, uh, we're going to have somebody in the hot seat, Earl or Ryan. See if we can break him like that again. That was like a. Yeah, he's getting the, the break figured out real well. Seems like it. We'll see what happens this time. Now he's, all the pressure's on Earl. I can see what he's doing. He's, he's hitting center ball, and he's stopping the cue ball dead into the pack. I think right. he's aiming for um, to imagine the cue ball hitting the nine ball. Like where the nine ball is instead of where the one ball is. Well, I, I got that, Mike Moosey sitting next to me, the owner of the Ice House. And uh, yep. would you like Earl to win, Mike? You want him to now, don't you? I guess Mike's kind of rooting for Earl. We'll see yeah. what happens. We don't. They're not sure why, but all right. Let's see what Earl can do on the break. Watch here. him stop it. He tried to. He didn't get as good. Did something go? Three. I, he made the six. wing ball for he made sure. Made the wing ball, and he's hooked. Yeah. Yeah. Now what, Earl? Yesterday he was making the one in the side and the wing ball at the same time. All right. Well, he's going to have to come up with some kind of strategy here. He's going to push out for sure. He's got to push out where, where – uh, He's going to push out down low. Well, he can't push out too low. Have it in the side. So he's got to mm – -hmm. Oh, okay, I see. He's, he's going, going he's that gonna, way. Yeah, he's going to leave him no shot. But there's definite safety there. Yeah. Now who's going to take it? I would think that uh, – Ryan's, Ryan, he's not going to take it. Would push the one down to the to the short rail and, and use the eight as a blocker. That's a good shot. That would be very simple. No, don't, don't go for the nine. Yeah, that's a, that's a bad shot. 
think he's swing and win. Play it safe, make him kick. No, okay, it looks he's like he's to coming the to the edge. Oh my gosh, he rolled the what nine. What in? That is an absolute wrong shot. Yeah, that was it. I, I mean. You can't win on luck. No, not and he hasn't won on luck the whole tournament. And he was swinging at those other. I yeah. seen him swinging at other shots where he shouldn't have done that. That was an absolute mistake. If you're mm -hmm. listening to this, do not ride the nine for the money. No, not with that much space. No, he had a good safety there. He would he would have made Earl. Qu well, I'm not saying the Earl's out, but he definitely didn't want to give him control of the table. Yeah, because Earl just he's smooth. He's I can see he's already. Well. He played that a little funny. Well, he tried to hit the six straight on, See, and he's he didn't. excited. He had a tough shot to get shape, mm -hmm. so now he's in trouble. He better play safe here. Well, he's he's just got to hit it. See, and he went and swung at it too. Well, he Bad didn't have move. much of a well, choice. Look at how lucky he gets. Oh my gosh, the twos and sevens in front. The owner here is jumping up and down with joy. He can't believe that Earl might get back to the table. Just need the luck he gets. It's well, amazing. He might have a shot. He's shooting it like he is. Well, he did. Oh, and he oh. dogged it. That was a tough shot, Alvin. That was a tough that shot. That was a tough, tough shot. shot. He made a noble effort for he it. He sure too. did. He went for it. That's what I'd like to see him done before I went for the safe. Now, come on. It's definitely not over. Okay. Now, Earl needs a smooth out here because he's he a little excited. He has got to get the two in front of the side he needs to take after a deep he breath. makes the seven. Mm -hmm. If it rolls funny, he's going to have no out. Ooh. He tried. Oh, well, that he was. Got it. He, he took the sure thing. Now he can. Uh, he has options. So, so we got mm -hmm. two, three. What's on the back row? Four's on the bottom row? So he just basically draws back a little bit for this. Well, he's got to get a good angle to get back on the four. Mm -hmm. He liked to two rail it, but the eight's in the way. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's not good. Follow it? I don't know. This looks like a tough shot, Alvin. Mike Moosey says he's going to follow it. If he'd have had more angle, he could have one rail it. Now what's he going to do? He's going to draw. He's follow it. He is following. Wow. Great shot, Earl. Oh, my gosh. Of course gosh. he won't scratch. Oh, my no gosh. No way. That's exactly where he wanted to land. Well, he'd have liked to have been a little further down, but mm -hmm. <laughs> even For Earl sure. gets a little nervous shooting these For balls. Sure. <laughs> what's he talking about? <laughs> he's talking about airplanes now. Oh, I know he's, ta he's <laughs> talking about something. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he's getting, that's what calms him down. He starts talking. I think so. Well, he's got a tough shot here, but I think, uh, I would think he'd get out, Alvin. I don't know. I definitely think he's going to get out. Oh, okay, he knows. Well, this has put him in the hot seat. Yep. You know, he played in the first tournament we had, and he got knocked out about the third or fourth round. He did. Third round. Hmm. Well, he's got a yeah, he's directing. perfect angle. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to hit before the side pocket. Yeah, that wing sh that shot where he went and tried to ride the nine, that really lost him the match here. Yeah, right there. Okay. Well, yeah. Alvin, I think Ryan yes, is sir. in the loser side. Thanks, Mike. Uh, well. And, um, Mike and Mike, we got Mike Moosey and Mike Galassi up here with me, and we appreciate your expert commentary. Absolutely. You'll be here for the next match, Alan. Yep. I'm, I'm awesome. getting excited now. Good. I can't wait to pay this money. Yeah. Yeah, I you mean, put it up. So go over to babiesproshop.com and support Mike Galassi. He really uh, would like that. He's, he's done so much effort here this weekend, and we want to thank Icebreakers Pool Hall in Youngstown, Ohio here, right off Route 80. If you're passing through Route 80 and uh, – yeah, stop in. Mike said he'd love to play somebody for some money, maybe. And it's literally. <laughs> Mike said cut. Yeah, he says there's great action here. Just <laughs> Yeah. Ask for. We'll play a commercial a little bit. I'm going to play it right now. All right, here comes Boom. commercial. Thank you. Oh, I have it. I'll get it on there. Inside Pool Magazine can now bring the world's greatest great. players right to your front door. Subscribe to Inside Pool for the annual price of just $19.99. Each issue is action-packed with high-impact photos, tournament coverage, in-depth player profiles, and much, much more. Call 888-428-7665. That's 888-428-POOL.